what is up the world it is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here hanging out like we do on the foot of book doing stuff and things i hope you guys are having a good day i'm having a really good day you know i've been working on some different stuff and things um and yeah i think that today well, the first thing we're gonna do is take a little trip over to hypno's base so right now z and hypno are on i hope we can maybe sneak into hypno's base without him seeing and uh so let's see, he might be over here working on, on his stuff and things. Oh, he's not. He's probably over in the twilight. So, you know, remember I was talking to you guys last time, uh, last time about, like, you know, you don't necessarily need to be the most right and just kind of talking about how, like, you know, it's fun to experiment on your own. And I'd said in the last episode, oh, you can't get up there. I said in the last episode that I was going to play around and see what I could do. Um, with really maximizing my reactor. So um, I did a little bit of searching on YouTube and I came over to Hipspace because I know he knows a lot about this stuff. And I was taking a look. Now he's making about 17.9. You can see there it's fluctuating a little bit. Uh, Z's talking about my farm. So 17.9. Uh, what did I say? 17.9? 17.9 thousand. RF per tick and the way he's got his set up is he has gelid cryothium in the center um, and then surrounds that with resonant ender and he does a um, a three by three of the uh, reactor rods um, and then you know just the standard fuel and all that now I'm not sure exactly I think he has all these control rods set to zero yeah so he's maxing out the amount of power that he's doing so so just so we can just take a note again 17.9 was the number here so you know i i noticed that he had that and i went over to my base and i started experimenting just kind of wanted to check it out and see what kind of stuff i can do and uh hold on a second and uh so let me go ahead and take a look here and so i started playing around with my system now let me go ahead and power it up let me turn it on um, and so what I did is I, I first I increased it. It wasn't a 7x7. Seven seven. So now I've got a 7x7. Seven seven. And uh, then I went ahead and um, I took out the diamond blocks and I added the 3x3 three three with the con extra control rods. And um, I set the inside with diamond blocks and that didn't, uh, I tested it out. And then I set the inside with jelly cryothium and I tested that out as well. And then if we can take a look here, 18, 18 thousand rf per tick so i'm not sure if you know this but 18 is bigger than 17.9 that's right ladies and gentlemen my buy my big reactor produces more power than hypnotize does <laughs> Suck it, Hypno. <laughs> Let me get a good screenshot here. <laughs> so, yeah, I just wanted to tell you it's not always about if you're the most right. You know, it's just about experimenting and figuring out that your big reactors produce more power than Hypno's big reactors by uh, 0.1k RF per tick. That's what's most important in life. Lesson learned. <laughs> so I hope you guys had fun watching that. It was all in good fun, guys. Um, it wasn't like a... I'm not really trying to like be mean to hips or anything like that. We're good buddies. And uh, yeah, it's just a, like a fun thing to do to uh, tell them to suck it a little bit. But um, one of the other things that I want to do real quick, this is kind of a cool little super, super duper tiny project, was these doors opening only uh, one at a time or one on the side is a huge pain in the butt. So pretty simple fix for that. Let's just go ahead and squirt these guys in here like this. Whoa, no. Add some cable. Or, uh, what is this even stuff called? Red alloy wire. I can never remember the name of it. We'll add some red alloy wire in like that, and then we'll just fill this guy in like so. And squirt this back on, and now, bam! They're both going to open together. So that works a lot better. So the actual project that we want to get to today, now that we've got our uh, 
now that we've got our bio or our big reactor, I keep kind of I don't know why I keep wanting to call it a bio reactor. But now that we have the big reactor fixed uh, up and everything's good to go there, let's go ahead and start working on the spawn area. Just because it's it. it it's funny because it doesn't really have much to do with the big reactor, but it's incomplete. You know what I mean? I kind of just got it going so that I could get the blizz powder, um, but it's not completely a thing yet. Run, man. Run. Wow, we're getting a little bit of the lags. Oh, the bridge is working good. All right, so this thing is like completely incomplete. So we're going to have to go ahead and fix it up now. I wanted to stick some of these um, facade in here like so. Oh, did I stick one up on top of there? Nope, I must have just misplaced. So we'll stick some of these guys in here. Uh, and then that should be like the completed shape that we have down here. And then while we're working over here, you know what? Let's shut the system off because um, it's super loud. So let's just kill this for now. And, oh, let's check the system and see what other weird goodies have gone inside of here. So we got Plague String now. Rotten Flesh of the Eagles. I think we already had that. We're getting a little bit of diamond in here. Um, and we got that ender scythe too. Um, unbreaking bone, the ancient bone, the bone of laziness. That's really funny. Those items are really interesting. And the bats, man. These bats. So, um, all right. We're going to start working on this and just pretty it up. Now, one of the things we've got to do. Where are you trying to suck from? Oh, there's stuff down inside of there. So, we're going to move this because I want to be able to put... Um, a couple of these spawner systems in. So this all has to get torn out, um, which will be pretty straightforward. And then we're gonna move it all over. I wanna get, I think I can get four of these spawner systems in. Um, and I've been thinking about throwing around ideas in my own brain places to like automate it and different stuff and things we can do like that. But, um, oh, I thought it would come off. Oh, there, there we go. A lot easier if you just use your pick. Um, so I, oh, 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 crap. Yeah. Nope, mistake. Oops. Made a noops. It's all good. So, um, what I've been thinking about in my brain places is if I like want to automate the system so it automatically turns on. I think I'm just gonna keep it for now as a manual system. So if I need something, I'm just gonna come over and hit the button, run the system for a little while, and then turn it off. Um, I could make it into a completely automated type thing, but I, the only thing so far we really needed, uh, is the blizz. Um, that's the only thing so far that we've we've had to make the spawner system for. So, oh man, my bridge. What's wrong with you, bridge? Try again, bridge. Oh, the bridge fail. I even put another speed upgrade in here just to speed it up a little bit more. But we must be getting some tick lag on the server. So, yeah, um, what I want to do is start getting it moved over into this area. Now, the spawner thingy-doodler is 11 by 11. So we go here. Where's 11. Where are you, the thing? That's 11. I think that'll be a good box. If we go like this and like this, I think it'll fit into the architecture here. So if we squirted something onto there, would it be here? That's 10, this is 11. So it would be to there, like so. Is that right? Does that look like a square to you? It does to me. All right, so that'll work out perfect like this. So we can set this up in this area here, and then that way, since each one of these little, you know what I mean, squares in the build's got plenty of room for the 11 by 11, we can set up four of these bad boys. Um, and then, um, so we're gonna get that done, and then also up inside of here, um, some of the architecture, we need to kind of give this thing some architecture. So I thought we'd maybe use a little bit of the stair action. And let's see here, is it gonna be beautiful? Like so, and we've used some of the stuff in the other architecture for the 1.8, so it's going to match up. It's going to look good, and um, I wanted to go ahead and put like a kind of a walkway up here, so it's going to be a bigger platform that you can walk on. Um, oh, uh, up in this area, and uh, something like this, but just using the marble slabs. So we'll outline the entire thing in marble slabs as well. Um, and I think that'll be cool as well. Um, we'll give it a little bit more textures and we'll work on that as, uh, how many times have I said as well? It's not even cool, man. Stop saying it. Now all I'm thinking about is not saying as well. So, yeah, um, and if we're going to do this in this way, I, I also was kind of thinking about 
do we want the items that come into this ME system? What, how do we want this to work? Do we want them to, oh wait, I think I got my platform wrong. Well, I think we might need two platforms. We might need a platform there and then another platform up here. Um, but I was trying to think about what we want to do with these items. And I think that everything that comes into this spawner area is going to squirt directly back into the main ME system that's over at the 1.8. I don't think we're going to need for the mob drop system to keep anything in that system. So we'll probably just end up hooking up a storage bus and an ender chest uh, so that everything goes right in. So all right, I'm going to work a little bit more on the architectural stuff and things over here. And I'll BRBs. So as with everything I do, it, it, the project got away from me and just setting up these four things took quite a bit longer than I wanted to have it take, but that's fine. It's because I because it came out really cool. I like what the, I like what happened, so that's fine. Um, but you can see here this one's actually active and if we turn it on, it's got something inside the auto spawner. So if we turn that on, I'll take a second for it to go out of its little sleep cycle. And then we'll see blazes start spawning in and they'll be squirting up into the grinder. And um, what I ended up doing is this is a lot like the same type of thing that I did with the spawner in the last um, season of Hermitcraft. But um, so we'll turn this guy off. So um, yeah, but I just used uh, marble cover, uh, marble covers from chisel and um, put them on the tops and on the bottoms all the way around the crystal because I just really don't like the way that the crystal looks. Um, and then I made a little box right here, and I actually went in, and this is kind of funny. This is I don't know, this is what how I, how my OCD ish type stuff works, but um, I could see the cables connecting to the portals. So if we see, I think we can turn them on. Oh wait, like this? Can we turn it on? No, I can't turn them on anymore, I don't think. Anyway, so they were connecting on the tops and the bottom. So what I would have to do is turn the bottom portal on and then turn all the connections off and then turn the top portal on, go underneath, dig up through the bottom, uh, then turn those connections off. And that way we can't see them connect. And you can turn them off. You had to turn them off here too. So that just makes the cabling all look a lot better. Um, I really like the way that that looks. And then on the tops, I ended up using um, clear glass covers um, and place those all along here too. Um, and you might think that that would stop your spawning, but as you can see, everything was spawning fine. And so this is really something that I didn't do it uh, last season in the beginning when I built the spawner system like this. Um, and you end up, uh, like you personally won't have an issue, but then someone will come to visit your base. And the first thing they'll do be like, oh, slip, this looks really good. And they squirt right into your grinder. And like, so and it's normally not a big deal. Like they can just break the block and get out. But um, yeah, just... Just that little piece, I, I like to take the time to go ahead and uh, do the my due diligence to save people from that. And then everything is kind of bluish colored too. So you know what? Now that those are all kind of blue, I don't like this one either. Let's go ahead and uh, try to make this one the lighter color blue. But um, yeah, so this is the kind of stuff I do. I'll sit here, there we go, and just do, uh, no, those are all like crap. I gotta make them all the same color, man. And um, big um, improvement for Miscraft. Oh, it's too green. Big improvement for Miscraft would be for you to be able to put a dye color in while you're making your book. That's better. They're not all perfect, but it's way better. But yeah, I think you should be able to take, because when you put your book and you put your link panel in your leather, you should be able to put a dye color in there too and just dye the color of the portal. Way easier than random colors. Um, and it would be a lot nicer for people who like matching things like myself. But um, yeah, so get all this stuff and things done those are good to go now if we do want to this is expandable i mean we could just go up another level all you'd have to add is a single space like right here and then another level like this one um and then we could add four more and so it's really expandable i mean we could add four probably what would it be like uh let's see do we have a block that we can easily do this with so there would be four eight twelve sixteen Wait, 20, 24. We could add probably 24 more spawners in here, which we'll never need. I mean, the only reason that we did this is for Blizz. Um, and really, any sort of other mob drops, Magic Crops take care of, takes care of all of that stuff. Um, you just can't make... And you know what? I never really checked, but I don't think you can make Blizz Powder with Essence. Oh, you can make it... What? By adding... Destabilize redstone to a snowball? Is that is that real? So you could do it with bees, and then the blitz rods. Yeah, there's no recipes at all. So it's like one of the only things that you can't do with magical crops. 
So that's why we needed it. And so if we come on three other things that are that way, we got the setup. Now, the next part of this is going to be setting up this thing here. And I've been thinking about it. Let me breathe a little bit. I've been thinking about it and kind of thinking about how I want to take it and how I want to make this look. Because I want it to be a little bit more refined. You know, I want it to be in the style of the 1.8. So we got to make it a little bit more detailed. Um, and so um, I was kind of thinking about how this wiring works and how this pedestal is and I think what I actually want to do um, is I think that I'm going to power everything with tesseracts so right now what I have is a power line coming off of here um, and squirts up over and then the ME line runs alongside it but that means that what I have is I'm gonna have a platform that's up here and the platform has to be at this level so I want you to be able to walk up here and have this be like the floor um, something like this and so you can see kind of what's going on with the items dropping and stuff like that. Um, but I don't think I want these big wires here. Now, I could use the facades or the conduit facades to cover these up. But I don't want there to be like two big pillars in the area. So I started trying to think about how it is that I could go about making sure that that doesn't happen. Um, oh, crap. How do you? I can't remember how to get the facades off. Oh, wait. I think you just have to. I'm an idiot. I think you just have to do that. Yeah. So, um. I started thinking about how I want this to work, and what I think that we're going to do is if we just power each one of the sets of the grinders with um, tesseracts, then we can take and run the wiring that's down here uh, for the transition planes, and we can run that up through here the way that they're coming up now, pardon me, up through into here, and then up over like this underneath in the floor itself and use the um, conduit facades to cover it up so then that way when you come up onto this level where the ME system is going to be and you know it'll just be like a little a little place thing and uh, there won't be wiring hanging up all around like in that and it will kind of look cool it'll all be kind of self-contained that way a little bit better a little bit more better -er. so all right that's the next part going to work on this and uh, see what kind of design I come up with and I'll boobs so I thought I'd bring you guys back and just show you some of the aesthetic -y stuff of things that I'm working on here. So just trying to take and see how we can fit. What's going on, Magnet? Are you going to suck, please? You know what would be sweet is if they made, if they just stopped kind of like playing around with these magnets and just made a magnet that sucked items directly into your inventory through blocks and didn't make noise. That would be amazeballs. All right. So here's what I got going on. So we got the underside right here, and we got some lighting in here. It doesn't really need it. doesn't matter. We got the magnum torch, so none of that's going to – none of that lighting issue is going to be a, an issue. But, um, yeah, so we can – we got that. We can see what's going on with all these items. All right, so then the next level above it is where we have kind of our stuff and things over here. Now, I've got some slabs in this area here, but this is like right in here. Probably going to have to be full box because we're going to use that facade here. Um, and so the next part is kind of going to be figuring out where we're going to put the ME system. And I'm thinking that actually there was part of me that was thinking this was going to have to be bigger. I don't really think it needs to be. But you know one thing that might be kind of cool is if we added an elevator block spot so you don't have to necessarily fly up. So maybe something like this, and then we can actually mirror this on the other side too. Just real simple. It doesn't have to be amazing or anything like that. So then we can go ahead over. Let's grab some elevators. And I, I obviously have three already made. Crap, I don't. Let's just make ten. So all right, there we have our three. So we'll keep them all just in the white formation, the white color. And then let's go ahead and just squirt them up inside of here. So we'll squirt him up inside of there and squirt you up inside of here. Get in there. Get squirted, man. All right. And then where is this guy going to want to be? So right here. Like so. One of these. So we can come out of this. Squirt up to the first level. Squirt up to the second level. And then likewise, squirt down. Squirt down. Squirt down. The people are watching. Squirt down. So, um, all right. Something like that. And then maybe, I don't know. I don't know if we want to do... I don't know if we want to do some um, some lighting up in here, up in this piece too. Maybe like, oh, we can't. The slabbies. They're slabbies. That's right. No lighting. All right. So it doesn't matter. No lighting. Sorry. Um, the other thing I'm thinking, let me see what these look like here. So there's, 
Um, you know what? I think the bottom of that looks kind of wonky. So why don't we do this? Let's come back over. Let's grab some transition planes. Let's grab two of those guys. I think two will be enough. And then even though they're not going to be active, let us take these out here. Pop that out and then squirt a transition plane in there. Turn it around upside. No. What? Lag? Hello? There we go. See? Then that way. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a thing. It's going to be a real thing. Uh, one of these. One of these. One of those. No. Squirt it in. Perfect. There we go. Um, all right, now if we take off, you can see there, it gives the design a little bit more uh, continuity. It makes more sense. It's more geometricalized. So, perfect. Now, if we come up here and grab this annoying block, um, we can set up the ME system in this area. So, I, I feel, oh my god. Where are you, blocks that are coming up from my magnet? That cannot get to me? That are making the most annoying noise of all time? Ever? Oh, there you are. Why is you not suck into my inventory? Oh, you're inside of there. Too bad, so sad. How come the transition plane isn't picking you up? All right, I got him. So over in here, I'm thinking what we'll do is actually what we did on the other side was just add this um, little thingy-doodler like so. And that is for the elevator block. So we can add another one over right in this area and just make it for uh, the ME system. So let's squirt this on over like that. And then just for giggles, we'll put another elevator block in there just so that the symmetry is on and the textures are the same as well. Ella. Didn't I say make 10? Did I not tell you to make 10? Are you out of something? <gasps> What's going on in Miami system? What's happening? No wool? Huh? How is it that you make wool? We make wool from string. And we have string, right? And we can make string. There's no string in the system. Oh my gosh. We have a major a major oversight here, peeps. There's the spider essence. All right, so let's go spider essence. Let's just go right into here. Let's fix this problem right now. This is unacceptable. Spider essence makes eight. Get that inside of there. Four string makes wool. Get that inside of there. Should take a second to update. There we go. Bam. So we'll get our one elevator block that we need and bring it over here and uh, then place it up and then place our ME system. Oh, you know what? We're going to need that storage bus. Yeah, we're going to need one of those too. I think this is how it's gonna work. Uh, make ten. So we, all right. So I think we got all the stuff and things that we need to get this finished up. Let's go ahead and take a look here. So like I said, just for looksies, we're gonna put an elevator in there, even though it's not actually working. Now underneath here, what we can do is maybe squirt our tesseract in there, and we controller this thingy doodler. TFC just joined. Oh, he left. All right, bye TFC. So um, then we'll squirt, uh, oh, you know what? We don't even need that. So here's what we're gonna do. Right on the back here, we'll take this guy and then take this guy. And then I think this should work even though there's no storage disk in here. I think anything that comes into the system, oh, weird. The ME terminal is actually showing me the inventory. Well, that's not weird. It's just unexpected. The ME inventory is showing me the inventory of the ender chest now. So if we squirt this guy in, it just goes straight into the ender chest. Right? 20 of those. Bam. They're just going straight in. And that's where all the items that get sucked up from this mob farm are going to go. So that's all we need there. Actually, we can kill that. So uh, we don't even need that guy. Right? Still working? Still working. All right, perfect. So that's the only thing that we need in order to move items from this system straight into, uh, yeah, all of our other places. So let's just double check. Yeah, no, nothing needs to be configured there. And I feel like this is pretty good. Oh, yeah, I added this lighting fixture too, just something really simple. And what I did, I added this little bitty outside corner bits, and they're just kind of to mirror what's going on over here. Not really, but kind of, sort of. So it matches a bit. It's a thing. 
So I feel like it's kind of cool. I like that it's floaty. It's kind of small. It's not intrusive. Nothing much going on. It's just here so that we can see what's going on with the grinder. Then we have our area in the middle there where we can look and see if there's any clogs or anything like that. Everything's pretty great. Matches all the stuff and things we have going on. It's the thing. So that is going to be it for today, guys. I had a blast hanging out. Got some cool stuff, things done over at the mob area. Thing to do over there. And um, I really had fun doing the thing for Hypno 2. And uh, just keep in mind, guys, that was all in jest. I love Hips. He's an awesome guy. And, uh, yeah, we're just having a little bit of fun. So if you liked the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to share and favorite and break your bases as you see fit. Don't spam it on Reddit. And I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Suck it, Hypno. <laughs>